Yo, what's going on y'all? So we are back with another video and this one is kind of a pretty sad video. So it's sad, scary, but really we don't have enough information right now. We don't actually know what's going on. No real information as to why this exchange just up and vanished. There's no information on why it, why it happened. Like there's no excuse. There hasn't been a public statement or anything like that to my knowledge. Um, but I will keep you all posted on it. I am going to show you some of the recent updates, some of the thoughts of the community, basically what's been going on, what's being said. And I do have some videos coming soon where I'm going to be showing you all how to store your crypto other places, like safe places, wallets and things like that. And just, just other information that's very important because I didn't realize how many people actually stored their OMI tokens on exchanges which is something that you should never really do in crypto you shouldn't store your your assets on exchanges it's not safe it's like self-custody is very very important it's very valuable because you can actually store your crypto in a vault you can protect your own assets you can keep it with you so stuff like this just can't happen so yeah um if you didn't know if you haven't heard bitforex actually went down like this is bitforex and as you can see it says you you've been blocked there's no no information and and this is just this is just what's happened we don't really know why why this error has occurred what's going on uh, but we do have a little bit of information on it um okay and the omi token was actually doing really well the omi token was it's been going up it's been getting getting a little value getting a little traction which i mean listen the omi token it it's so low down that just the smallest things can can really make it have some pretty decent gains. So taking that into consideration, this was definitely unfortunate that this happened. It's like everything seems to be against the OMI token. But anyway, let's jump into a little bit of information here. Um, so yeah, as you can see, Bitforex just a week ago was asking what are the top um, encryption projects in 2024? Like, So it looks like, basically if you look at their tweets, if you look at the stuff they have going on, it looks like they have plans. It looks like they have plans for the future. They're asking questions. They're trying to get engagement and figure out what else that they should list is what that looks like. Um, if you have a million dollars and you can only buy three crypto in 2024, what would it be? Like, look at this. So they're, they, they were just active. They were just, everything was just regular and business as usual. It doesn't seem like they were trying to, you know, just disappear on people. So that's a good sign, I guess. Uh, uh, I mean, hopefully it's just some unfortunate like a hack, but hopefully the assets are safe as well. So, yeah, but we do have someone who actually says something about the state of the assets. Also, I don't know where they got the information, but we're going to dive into it. So, yeah, that being said, I mean, th this tweet was actually just kind of funny. He said, so instead of Omi being listed on multiple exchanges this year, we are currently on negative one exchange like that. that that's crazy to think about. This is actually kind of hilarious. So. Yeah, like I, I like I like that tweet, and, but I know. Listen, I know a lot of people are going through it, and it's not really funny when your money's the money that's on the line. So I definitely get it, but at the end of the day, when unfortunate things happen, it's like it's nothing you can do about it. I mean, the most, the best that you can do is find something to smile about, something to laugh about, because stressing about the fact that something unfortunate is going on ain't gonna change the problem. It's not gonna fix the situation. This is a situation out of everyone's control. But what you can do is learn from this situation and learn how to protect your assets better in the future. So that is something that I'll be going over in another video. I'll be showing you some some good options to store your crypto and some some places where you can actually go to to know that your your assets are safe. You don't have to rely on exchanges because this has been something big that we've been talking about for years now in the VB community. But yeah, this is this is why. So, yeah. Um, next, we have a few more tweets that I, I found interesting. They said, um, we have to thank VV official and Nikomi for not putting Omi on any big exchange for three years. Obviously, it's our fault too, but I'm not a crypto bro. This wouldn't have happened if Omi was on Binance or Coinbase. Now, if you don't know, Omi is actually on Coinbase already. It's on Coinbase Wallet. So there's a little bit of a process. You have to buy Ethereum. I believe you have to swap it from Ethereum to, I haven't bought Omi in a while. But I believe you have to swap it from Ethereum to Omi, and that can actually be done now through the um, Coinbase wallet. So there is a safer way to buy the Omi token. 
BitForex is just the most widely known, I believe, but Coinbase, it actually is on Coinbase. It, it actually is a way to buy it on Coinbase. So yeah, if you didn't know that, that is a thing. Um, but yeah, um, let's see. Blame is mostly VV for not registering on any big exchanges or making it difficult to transfer between various layers. Would have loved buying Omi on Coinbase. It, it It is on Coinbase. So it looks like a lot of people don't even know that you could buy it on Coinbase or Coinbase's wallet. A lot of people don't even have that information, which I actually stumbled across that on accident. I was doing some um some some shopping on Coinbase and I saw the Omi token. And it was just like, it was legitimate. So I don't know why that was never announced, why that was never made a big deal, put in an article or something, but people don't know that. Um. Let me see. He, uh, one guy said, I have 15 million Omi in there. I feel sick. That's sad, bro. That is sad. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of Omi. Um, that's a lot of investing, a lot of patience, a lot of effort, man. And it's it sucks that that's, that's what happened. It definitely sucks that that's what happened. Um, hopefully, oh, it looks like it's some type of space going on. I might jump into that after this after this video. But yeah, that's this is crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy that all this stuff is going on, man. It's sad, too. But um, yeah, let, let's actually jump into some of the most recent updates. So as you can see here, Omi Watcher, he says, we would like to inform all Omi holders using Bitforex.com that their Omi has not moved from the Bitforex holdings wallet and remains in Bitforex's custody. Bitforex administrator, administrators also claim all assets are safe. So it could be something going on with the website where if they were hacked, that's good. I mean, obviously it's not good, but if they were hacked and it's just the website, it's the, it's the, it's, you know, it's the website side of things that's messed up and not actually the wallets and the, where the crypto is stored and where the assets are kept and things like that, then it's a problem, but it's not a big problem because that means people, everyone's assets really are safe. Now the issue comes here in the fact that in a situation like this, regardless of what the truth is, this is what you're supposed to say. Like, so whether something was going on or something is not going on, they would say the same thing. They like, what company are you going to hear come out and say, yo, um, yeah, we're screwed. I mean, we got hacked and they took everything. Um, like the companies are not finna just come out and blatantly say that they, they, especially unless they have to, unless there's absolutely no other option, but they're going to start off trying to keep things calm. So. Yeah, I'm kind of tired right now, man. Um, I'm mad tired, but yeah, look at this. So look at this. Javier says 50% of the people polled so far had their um, freaking Omi stored on BitForex. Come on, guys. How many times have we spoken about the importance of self-custody? I really hope this resolves without loss of funds and that those 50% take this as a very valuable lesson. This definitely needs to be taken as a lesson and you need to store your crypto elsewhere because keeping it on an exchange like BitForex, keeping it... Even Coinbase is not safe. Now you all may know on my um well on this channel, I'm doing a series right now where I turn 500 to 10,000 and stuff like that, and I have that on Coinbase. But that's just because um this is like a test series for YouTube. It's like it's this is not something that you realistically would want to do if you are investing and saving and building wealth. Like this is just you know like you don't you want to have custody over your crypto you want this is the whole point of crypto this is this is why self custody is important you you can control where your assets are so put put your assets in your own control that way stuff like that doesn't happen um you said i feel sorry for everybody it is sad oh let's see vv said something um we have been made aware of reports from users that they are unable to access the bit forex exchange According to the exchange, they are currently undergoing unscheduled maintenance. We have reached out to the exchange directly and will update the community when further information becomes available. Thank you for understanding. So, yeah. Looks like Omi, I mean, Ecomi didn't say anything. Okay, they, they haven't said anything. They have not given an update. So hopefully it's some type of just regular um regular maintenance. Hopefully it's some type of regular maintenance, some type of update. Like maybe it was a hack or something. Somebody tried to do something, but they failed. Hopefully it's something like that. 
as opposed to them actually being a rug pull or something along those lines. I mean, we can always hope for the best. Like, I, I definitely hope for the best. I, I don't want anyone to lose their money. But I definitely do believe some 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 educational content on how to protect your assets is a must. We definitely have to get people's assets off of exchanges and get them into people's own wallets because this happens in crypto. This definitely happens. Exchanges go down all the time. Unexpected exchanges. No one expects their exchange to go down when it goes down. Um, you never know what exchange can be hit by this. Like, there's nobody exempt from things like this. I mean, Coinbase and, and, and Binance and stuff like that is unlikely, but just because something is unlikely doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Doesn't mean that it's impossible. Um, anything is possible. And that's why what you should do is protect your own assets, hold your own assets, and be responsible for your own things. That way you are know where your assets are and you can keep everything safe but that's pretty much it man i just want to go over the slight updates we have like and basically the sentiment in the community and just share a little bit of my thoughts man i think that obviously this is sad um hopefully people get their crypto back from this but yeah i will see i'll keep you all posted on what's going on man um that's pretty much it y'all yeah, let me get to bed here, man. <laughs> Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.